Hi there, we want to determine the resulting force in the shown system caused by two cables under tensile loads of F1 and F2 acting on angle alpha 30 degree with regard to y axis and F2 acting on angle theta equal to 45 degree with regard to y axis. We want to find the magnitude of the resultant force R using the rectangular components methods as well the resultant force angle with each of the x and y axis. We can simply show the forces acting on the eye bolt as shown over here by F1 and F2 with angle of 30 and 45 degree. We know using the parallelogram rule the resultant force can be vector r that has angle of theta 1 and theta 2 with x and y axis. To determine resultant force using rectangular component, one, we need to determine f1 and f2 components along x. Obviously, r along x is going to be summation of f1x and f2x. Obviously, over here in this problem, as f1x and f2x are in the same direction, so we add them up. Then we determine F1 and F2 components along Y axis, as you see over here. Obviously taking sine uh, into consideration, we can write down RY is equal to F1Y minus F2Y. As you see, F1Y and F2Y are in opposite direction, so we use negative over here. The size of resultant force can be found using Pythagorean theorem. Let's do these steps on our problem. F1 is 1000, F2 is 500. As a result, F1x is equal to force F1 times sine 30 or cosine of 60. You know, 30 and 60 make complementary angles. So is equal to 1000 Newton times sine of 30, which makes 0.5, or cosine of 60, which makes 0.5. The answer is equal to 500. F2x is equal to F2 times cosine of this shown angle 45, which is equal to 353.6 Newton. As a result, Rx is going to be summation of these two numbers, which makes 853.6 Newton. The next step is to determine F1 and F2 components along Y. For F1Y, we have F1 times cosine of 30 degree that makes f1y which is equal to 866 as you see and f2y is equal of f2 projected along y-axis which is f2 times sine of 45 degree as you see here equal to 353.6 newton along negative y-axis as already explained ry the y component of resultant force is equal to F1y minus F2y, which makes equal to 512.4 Newton along y-axis. As a result, the size of resultant force is equal to a square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared, which gives us 995.6 Newton. Now let's determine the direction of the force or resulting force. To do so, first we determine the angle in the right triangle uh, using x and y components of the force. We know the value of Rx and Ry from the previous step. If the angle of R with regard to x axis is theta 1, we can write down the tan of theta 1 is equal to Ry divided by Rx, which is equal to 0.6 and gives the angle of 30 degree for theta 1 the angle with x-axis from the picture you see theta 2 is complementary angle to theta 1 so it's equal to 90 minus theta 1 which gives us 59 degree the angle of resultant force with regard to y-axis you see on the left hand side here the resultant force 995.6 newton which is acting at an angle of 31 degree with regard to x-axis. 